Good morning. Hello, and is it George Matthew? Yes, yes. Fantastic. So, George, how can I help you? Uh, I'm just coming today uh, because I had a blood test last week and yeah. I'm just coming for the results. Sure. So, we've got here that you came in to see our practice nurse about a week ago. Yes. And it was for an, like an MOT. Yes. MOT. Yeah. And she checked your blood pressure and your weight. And as you quite rightly said, she did some blood tests and mm. she told you to come back and see yeah. me for the results. Okay. Was there anything that you thought I'd be talking about today? Well, not really. I, I, I hadn't had uh, any kind of checkup for some time and I just thought it was about time I did. Sure. Uh, because a colleague of mine that is probably a bit fitter than me had, uh, had a a heart attack really and, oh, right. and that was a bit of a, a a shock so I thought I'd better get myself checked out though sure. I feel fine in myself. Obviously this this issue with your colleague that that's scared you a little bit. Well yes because he, he did a lot more exercise than I do okay. and uh, I thought well if it happened to him I, I just want to make sure things are okay with me. Sure um, and apart from going through the blood test did you think that we'd be doing anything else today? No, no, not really. I just hope that everything will be okay. Um, before we go through the blood test, do you mind if I just ask mm. you a few just general questions? No, no. Um, have you had any problems with chest pain? No. Never? No, never no, at all? Nothing. Any symptoms like your heart racing? No. No? Any weakness in your arms or legs? Absolutely not, no. Vision, speech have all been no, okay? No, everything's fine. And any pain at the back of your legs at all? No. No? And, and otherwise you said you, you, you feel fit and well? Yes, yes. Uh, as I say, it's just a precautionary thing, really. Sure, sure. okay. Um, now, um, in, in terms of your exercise, you, you've said a few times that your friend does a lot more exercise than, than you do. How much do you...? I'd like to do more, um, okay. but w with a busy life with work, I, I get home late and, when, and all the domestic things, I just don't seem to have the time. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I, want, I want to live a bit healthier, you know, and sure. some advice on that, really. That, that's the main thing. Okay. Now, um, you said that you, you're very busy. What do you do for work? I, I work in an accountant, accountancy firm. And how are things at home? Who lives with you at home? Uh, I, my wife. I've got two uh, grown-up daughters, 16 and 18. Okay, okay. And everything's well at home? Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you smoke at all? I do. Um... It's about 10 a day, really. Okay. How long have you been smoking for? About 20 years. 20 years, okay. Have you thought about stopping at all? Well, once again, with healthy living, I'd like to kind of package it all up and, okay. and make that part of it as well, yes. Uh, okay. And do you drink any alcohol in the week? I, I do. I do tend to have a pint when I get back from work just to unwind. Okay. Um, but I, I don't drink any more than that, really. Okay. Is that every night, every day of the week? It is, yes. Okay, so seven days of the week you'd have a pint when you come home? Yes, at some point in the evening, so yes. Don't drink anything else other than that? No, not really, unless anything else crops up. But I, that that is my usual routine. Okay, fair enough. Do you have any family history of any heart attacks or strokes that you're aware of? Uh, no. Nobody. Okay. And anybody with high cholesterol or diabetes in the family? No, not that I know no. of. Okay. So we've got here, we've got no other medical problems on your medication screen. Um, are you on any medication for anything? Anything from over the counter? Nothing at all. No. no. And are you known to be allergic to anything? No. No, fantastic. Okay. So what I'd like to do next, if it's okay, I'd just like to quickly recheck your blood pressure from last time. Mm -hmm. So if that's okay, we'll, we'll do that next. Okay. 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 So your blood pressure's fine, which is great. Good. So we'll, we'll go over the blood test results, which is the reason that you came to see yeah. me in the first place. So when we checked your bloods, we checked your kidneys to make sure they were okay, which they were. We did your liver tests, which were all fine. We checked your sugar levels, which were all okay. But we also checked your cholesterol. Now the cholesterol was a little bit raised. Oh. 
You look surprised by that. Yes, yes. Do you know what your normal cholesterol should be? Uh, no, I, I don't. Okay, so we tend to aim for as low as we can, but five or less is where we would like them to be. Right. So your cholesterol on the blood test was six, so oh. it was a little bit higher. Do you know why we worry about cholesterol as doctors? I, I think it's around a bit about the heart, isn't it, and that sort of thing. Absolutely. So cholesterol isn't needed for the way that lots of cells in your body function, but extra cholesterol can block up your blood vessels. So you're quite right, it can cause problems with your heart, so strokes and also heart attacks oh. as well. Oh. So the lower we keep your cholesterol, the less likely you are to have something like that. Okay. Mm. Now, what we also do is put all your figures, so your cholesterol, your smoking, um, your blood pressure, all into a computer which calculates what your risk would be of having a heart attack or stroke in the next 10 years. Right. So anybody who's got um, what we say a 10% risk or more, we deem them as slightly high risk. So your risk is above 10. So that oh. means that if 100 people like yourself with all your smoking, your family history, all of those things, in the next 10 years, there is 10 of them may go on to have a heart attack or a stroke. So they may go on, okay? So we really need to get that risk of yours lower. Now the ways we can do it is, you've already mentioned you're quite keen to change your lifestyle. So there's lifestyle changes that we can advise you on. Mm -hmm. And there's also tablets we, which we consider. Oh, oh you, you look at, take it back by tablets. I pride myself on the fact that I, I don't like taking tablets simply because um, I prefer to do things myself. I don't even like taking headache tablets. Okay, fair enough. Well, there's the lifestyle things that we can explore, and you've also mentioned that earlier on when, when I was speaking to you about yes. changing your lifestyle. So there's a few things in terms of the exercise. You mentioned you, you don't do as much exercise because of your busy lifestyle. Mm. We usually advise 20 minutes of exercise to get your heart pumping and feeling a bit warm um, five times a week. Right. So it doesn't have to be going to the gym, just a brisk walk um, or jogging or swimming, something like that. Do you think that that's going to be doable for you with your, with your work, I think how it is? From, from what you've said, uh, I think it means... I've, I've got to have a think about how how to do it really sure. and uh, I suppose with the family I could do it with as a family thing absolutely, as well. Absolutely, absolutely um, and there are some um, like lifestyle type programs that I can give you some information oh, about yes. if you'd like something like that. Now the other thing is diet um, so it may be worth um, having a look at your diet and we could maybe refer you to a dietitian, or maybe book yourselves in with your wife or, or your kids and so that we can have a look at ways we could maybe look at your diet well, and bring your cholesterol down. That sounds interesting, yes. Yeah. yes. Do you think that's something that you would like to do? I, I think so, yes, because yeah. I think it would all, all bring everything together so that sounds really yeah. interesting, yes. Okay, now the last few things are smoking and the alcohol. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now, if you can stop smoking that would really help reduce your overall risks of heart attacks and strokes and we've got stop smoking services here at the practice okay. if that's something you'd like to have a look at. Yes it is. Yeah so we can get you booked in for that and lastly alcohol. Um, alcohol has a lot of calories in it and I'm sure that if you can reduce your alcohol have a few days of not drinking any alcohol in the week that overall that, that will also help the situation. Okay. So do you think that's going to be doable? Oh, I think so. I think uh, if I embark on a, a more healthy style, I think I'll bring, as I say, bring everything together yeah. really. Okay. So there's a few things then that you'd like to pursue. So yes. I'll give you some information about our Lifestyle Links program for Good. the lifestyle and exercise. Thank you. We'll get you referred to see the dietitian, and also we'll get you to see the nurse to, for the, to help you reduce your smoking and hopefully stop it. Okay. Okay. Now, um, we can do your blood test again in about three months' time right? and see how you're doing and hopefully your cholesterol will come down. Okay. How does that sound that to you? Sounds, that sounds good. Okay. It's a target. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> um, would you like any more information, maybe about diet, that I could give to you today? No, I think that, that will be fine. Exactly. So, so you yes. can go to any of the NHS websites and have a look on there or patient.co.uk is another good site that oh, that's good. Um, you can have a look at. 
Do you have any questions? No, it was a bit of a shock, but it means I, there are things I can do about it, isn't yeah. there? Hopefully then in three months' time, I'll see you again then. OK. If there are any problems before that, just come back and see you sooner. Otherwise, hopefully we'll see you in three months with a lower cholesterol. Good. OK, okay. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.